Hi, this is Susanna from Hold It Right There Sewing Patterns. Welcome back to my video tutorial series for my sewing pattern, the Corcoran Crossbody Bag. To make the Corcoran Crossbody, you will need to purchase the sewing pattern from my website linked below. In this video, I will walk you through the instructions for making the flap for the Corcoran Crossbody Bag. To begin, locate your 8 inch zipper and four zipper tabs C5. Measure and mark seven inches total for the zipper. To prevent the zipper pull from sliding off the zipper, sew several stitches at either end of the zipper, one eighth inch from the markings over top of the zipper teeth. I'm doing this by hand, but you can also do this at your sewing machine, tacking stitches, several stitches over the zipper teeth. These stitches are basically creating new zipper stops on your zipper and make sure that your stitches are within the seven inch markings. Where we marked a moment ago will be where we trim our zipper. So your stitches have to be inside of those markings. Cut the zipper tape where marked so that your zipper is now seven inches long. Right sides together, pin or clip the short side of the zipper tabs to the short ends of the zipper. Sew both sides using a half inch seam allowance. Press the zipper tabs away from the zipper. Then top stitch 1 8 inch from the finished edge of the zipper tabs. Trim the zipper tabs even with the zipper tape. Fold the zipper in half, matching short side to short side to determine its center. Then mark the zipper center above and below the zipper teeth on the right side of the zipper tape. I'm using a silver permanent marker to mark on my black zipper tape so that it shows up. The marks I'm making are very small, less than a quarter inch, and this is to keep the marks from showing in my finished bag. The zipper is now prepared for the flap and you can set it aside for now. Locate your Fabric 2 Flap C1. This is the flap exterior. Refer to the C1 pattern piece for this step. We are now going to mark the line indicated on the pattern piece. From the top straight edge of the flap, you will measure seven and three fourths of an inch. We will separate the flap along this line and this is where we will build the zippered pocket into the flap. Determine the center of the flap by folding it in half, making a crease with your finger. At that center crease, mark a quarter inch vertical line intersecting the horizontal line. This mark will be critical for placing the zipper correctly later and will be very helpful if you are fussy cutting like I am with my flap and want the, the upper part and the lower part of the flap to match. Separate the flap into two segments now by cutting along the horizontal line. Set aside the C1 fabric two pieces for now. Locate the flap pocket upper and lower front C2, C3 pieces. Refer to the pattern piece for this step as well. We will now mark a horizontal line one and a half inches below the top straight edge. Next, mark a quarter inch vertical line centered and intersecting the long horizontal line. This mark, again, just as with the C1 piece, will be critical in placing the zipper correctly later. Next, separate the fabric into two segments by cutting along the horizontal line. Set the C2, C3 pieces aside for now. You will now need the flap upper pocket C2 and the prepared tab zipper. Right side up, match the center markings and place the zipper along the bottom edge of C2. Be sure the zipper pull is on the right. Use double-sided tape to keep the zipper in place or a bit of fabric glue. I find it helpful to do this step on my cutting mat. I line up the markings on my fabric and my zipper with a marking on the cutting mat. You will now need the fabric to upper segment of flap C1, and this is the piece without a curved edge. Right sides together, 
match the center marking at the bottom edge of the fabric to the center marking on the bottom edge of the zipper. That center marking, since it is on the right side, I'm going to make a tiny snip about an eighth of an inch in size so that I can see it from the wrong side of my fabric. Once again, use double-sided tape or fabric glue to keep the zipper in place. So the fabrics are now right sides together and the zipper is sandwiched between them. Pin or clip the fabrics and zipper together and then sew using a quarter inch seam allowance. Press the fabric away from the zipper on both sides. Do not top stitch above the zipper yet. This will be done later in the construction of the bag and this top stitching will close the top of the pocket. You will now need flap pocket lower front C3. Place this right side up. What you will do is match the top center marking on the right side of the fabric with the bottom center marking on the wrong side of the zipper. You want to make sure that the zipper pull is on the right and once again use double-sided tape or fabric glue to secure in place. Locate the remaining piece of the Fabric 2 C3 flap. This is the curved segment. Right sides together match the center marking at the top edge of the fabric to the center marking on the bottom edge of the zipper. And I'm just going to make a tiny snip, an eighth of an inch in size, so that I can see from the wrong side of my fabric where that center marking is. And again, it's helpful to use either some fabric glue or double-sided tape to keep this all in place. The fabrics are right sides together and the zipper is now sandwiched between them. Pin or clip all the layers together and then sew using a quarter inch seam allowance. Press the fabric away from the zipper on both sides. Top stitch 1 8 inch from the bottom zipper seam only. Wait to top stitch above the zipper until instructed in the next step. Locate the flap pocket back C4. Place the flap wrong side up so that the flap pocket upper and lower front, the C2, C3 pieces, are right side up. Right sides together, place the flap pocket back C4 directly over the C2, C3 pieces. Pin or clip along the top and bottom edges. You will now sew along the bottom edge only using a half inch seam allowance. Move the flap C1 out of the way while you are sewing the pocket. Turn the flap right side up. Top stitch now through all layers 1 8 inch above the zipper. This top stitching closes the top of the zipper pocket. Pin or clip along the sides of the flap pocket and then baste through all layers using a quarter inch seam allowance. Before moving on to the next step, I'm going to turn my flap wrong side up and trim a bit of the excess fabric from the flap pocket. So I'm going to trim the four corners of the flap pocket and this is going to help reduce bulk when we top stitch the flap later. I'm also going to trim the excess all the way across the top edge of the flap pocket. It's just um, unnecessary. And again, this just is to reduce bulk. Locate the Fabric 3 flap C1 piece and the magnetic snap. Centered on the right side of the flap, one and one half inches above the bottom edge, Mark the insertion point for the male magnetic snap half. This is indicated on your C1 pattern piece, so you can use that to mark the insertion point, or you can fold the flap in half to determine its center. Center the snap washer over the marking. Trace the left and right prong placement lines. Using the sharp point of a seam ripper, carefully cut through the left and right prong placement lines. To prevent the incision edges from unraveling, 
Apply a few drops of liquid fabric sealant, such as Dritz Freycheck. Place the snap washer on one of the ultra-firm stabilizer squares. Again, trace the left and right prong placement lines of the washer with a friction pen or marker. Using the sharp point of your seam ripper, carefully cut through the left and right prong placement lines. Repeat with your other ultra-firm stabilizer squares. Working from the right side of the fabric, push the pronged feet of the male magnetic snap half through the incisions in the Fabric 3 C1 flap. Then push them through the ultra-firm stabilizer square. Insert the prongs through the holes in the washer and then fold the prongs outward to secure. It's a good idea to fuse a small scrap of interfacing on the wrong side of the magnetic snap just to prevent the prongs from damaging the fabric. Place the two flap C1 pieces right sides together. Be sure to match the bottom curved edges. Pin or clip along the sides and the bottom curved edge. Using a half inch seam allowance, sew along the sides and bottom curved edge. Do not sew across the top straight edge. If your fabric pieces ended up a little bit uneven, as mine did, my fabric two piece is slightly longer, I'm going to trim it so that it is even with the fabric three piece at the top straight edge. Trim the seam allowances close to the stitching and notch along the curved edges. Be careful not to cut past the stitching. Turn the flap right side out through the opening at the top straight edge. From the wrong side of the flap, push against the seams, especially the rounded edges, and then press the flap. Top stitch your pressed flap 1 8 inch from the finished edge. Your flap for your Corcoran crossbody bag is now complete. Join me in my next video as we create the exterior. Thanks for watching. Happy sewing.